Right, this is in response to one of my viewers' questions in the comments, whose question was, is it possible on this engine for the timing to have jumped yet not generate a code? And the answer to this question is yes, because it's only one camshaft sensor, so it only monitors, I think it's like exhaust, can't remember, it's either exhaust or intake camshaft on this, but it doesn't, well, it monitors the back camshaft, but not the front one. So, there's a quick easy solution, it's particularly on this engine to check it. So what you do is, you remove these rubber bungs from the end of the camshaft, I'll show you where they go, from each of them, so see they're in there, my camera at the right position. So that's some there. So you can look along, you can look at the two, and you see there's a check mark out the bottom there and a check mark out the bottom. So this gives you a rough guide to see if the timing is on or off. So what can actually happen was this one can still be in time and the crankshaft, but this one can be out of time. So if you look at the two of them, and it depends where the engine has stopped about, if they're roughly in the, the same position, you're good to go, I would say, because any other permutations, i.e., if the car, the crankshaft's out of position with this, and it would one, it would generate a code. But if these two, you would often find that this one would be out of position, and this one would be uh, at a different position. So that's a quick sort of acid test. In order to, so that you can see there, that's that's how it goes. That if you have to take away some of this. Uh, fixings here to get right in about the thing, but that's a quick way to determine if this 1.2 petrol uh, Volkswagen Polo engine, I think it's a CGA, I think the engine code of this is, has jumped the time and change. See if I can get you a bit better in there. Hard to see, but I think you can maybe see they are roughly the same, these two versions. I just remember this cracking case study that Pico Automotive done a few years ago. So you can see it's on the Volkswagen Polo and it's a 1.23 cylinder. Now this car, uh, you can actually see there, had generated fault codes which were misleading. But uh, my viewer's question was, is it possible for a car to have a jump timing chain belt and not generate fault codes? And the answer is definitely yes, as I said in the intro to this video. So I'll just scroll down here and... Uh, demonstrate what I was trying to show in the car. This is actually a clearer picture uh, with Pito, Pico Automotive, so yes, it's there. So you can see there that the inlet camshaft is the one that's sensed, so it has the camshaft sensor on it. So you can see that this engine is actually TDC because the inlet camshaft is in the horizontal, but the exhaust camshaft has not got a camshaft sensor on it. So you can see here the exhaust camshaft has jumped, but the inlet is in the horizontal, which means it's good. In fact, even if it's not a TDC, TDC, these two camshafts should line up with each other at any position. And actually, the best way to test that is to have the wee timing, the little timing kit for the camshaft to see if they're in a rough position. But that's just a quick acid test in order to prove that these camshafts have not jumped if you have no fault codes generated. So there you go. Hope that helps you. Cheers.